Welcome to my home. We're going to show you how easy it is to program your new M6003 or M6007 thermostat. In a few simple steps, you'll have control over the comfort and efficiency of the environment of your home. These thermostats are for most central heating and air conditioning systems controlled by one thermostat. These thermostats should not be connected directly to 120 volt or 240 volt wiring. Only connect these thermostats to 24 volt or millivolt control wires. For compatibility chart, please consult your manual. What you'll need for this upgrade are a Phillips screwdriver, masking tape, a power drill with a 3 16th bit, a level, and a pen or a pencil. Before removing the old thermostat, shut the power off to the heating and the air conditioning systems at the breaker box. Fully remove the old thermostat. Use the masking tape to label each wire with the letter code for the terminal or screw it was connected to. These terminal designations should match the ones on your new thermostat. If you have wires designated H1, H2, RC, RH, O, and or B, you should be using the M6007 exclusively. Wires labeled W2 and Y2 are for two-stage heating and cooling and require a different model of thermostat. C is a power wire and it can be taped up as it won't be used for the new thermostat. If there is an extra wire not connected to your old thermostat, you will also not need it for the new thermostat. Here's a good tip. You can wrap the loose wires around a pencil to keep them from falling back into the wall. To begin mounting the new thermostat, you'll first need to remove the back plate. While paying attention to which way is up, place the back plate against the wall while feeding the wires through the center hole. Keep the back plate horizontal and use a level to keep it nice and straight. Select two of the holes you feel are best to keep the thermostat in place and mark them with a pencil. Once the holes are marked, you can remove the back plate. Then you can use the drill in the 3 16th bit to make guiding holes for the screws. Insert the wall anchors into the wall completely. If necessary, use a hammer to tap in lightly. Pull the wires back through the hole of the back plate. Line up the back plate with the anchors and secure it in place with the screws. Match up the letters you have marked on the wires to the same letters you have on the terminals on the thermostat back cover. Use the screwdriver to fasten them in place. Install the AA batteries into the faceplate. The digital screen should appear immediately. Take a look at the fan operation jumper also on the back of the thermostat. If you are using a gas furnace, the jumper should already be in the HG position. Also, you may wish to use tweezers to grab hold of it. If you're using an electric furnace, remove the jumper and place it in the HE position. All that's left is to line up the faceplate with the back cover and snap it into place. Your thermostat is now installed. You can turn on the power to your heating and cooling systems and be ready to program your thermostat. We're going to begin by resetting the thermostat and selecting which temperature measurement, Celsius or Fahrenheit, you wish to use. Open the lower door and reset the thermostat by gently pressing the R button with the tip of your pen or pencil. The temperature will begin flashing in Celsius and you can press the up or down button to change it to Fahrenheit. You can only change from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa by resetting the thermostat. This resets the clock and all the programs back to their factory defaults, so be sure you have the setting you want before continuing to program. Next, we'll set the clock. This can be done at any time by pressing the set clock button. You can then move through the time by pressing the head or back buttons. Hold the button in to move through the time faster. Once you have selected the correct time, press set clock again. The day of the week will now show. You can select the day of the week also by using the ahead or back buttons. Once you've selected the correct day of the week, you can press the display button to return to the main screen. To display the time in a 24-hour format on the M6003, you can press the ahead and back buttons at the same time when you're at the main screen. This will now display on a 24-hour clock. For the M6007, this will be covered in the options later in this video. 
default on the M6003, you will see a temperature and a time. This is the actual temperature of the room. When you flip the switch to heat or cool, another little symbol will appear on the screen. On the M6003, if you push the current button, this will display the current temperature setting. By pressing the current button on the M6003, this will be display the current temperature setting. This is the temperature setting you're choosing for your home. On the M6007, the default screen will show you the time, and the actual temperature of the room in large numbers, and on the very left of the screen, a humidity reading. Underneath the time is the current temperature setting. This will appear as three dashes if the thermostat is set to the off position. The center button will bring you back to these default screens at any time. The arrow keys on either side of this center button can change the temperature at any time that the thermostat is set to heat or cool. Now we will be programming the thermostat. These models are designed to automatically change their temperature four times a day. These periods are designated as one morning, two day, three evening, and four overnight. The idea is that program one sets the temperature to a comfortable setting before you wake up. Program two conserves energy when you're at work. Program three makes it comfortable in the evening before you return home. And program four conserves energy while you sleep. The M6003 has one set of programs for Monday to Friday and a second set of four programs for Saturday and Sunday. The M6007 also has a set of four programs for Monday to Friday it allows you to program Saturday and Sunday separately. To make it easier when programming, spend some time planning out your schedule on a piece of paper, noting the time and temperature for each program period. Remember, you'll need one set of programs for your weekdays and another one or two for your weekends depending on your model number. Please respect the 24-hour time period all the programs have to start at different times and in order of the program number. Please remember, program 4 should start before midnight. For an example, consult your manual for a table of the pre-programmed time and temperature settings. The same methods are used when entering a heating or cooling program. For this demonstration, we'll enter a heating program. First, slide the system switch to heat. A heating symbol will appear. Push the program button once, and the word set, along with the symbol for program 1, will appear on the screen. You'll also see all the symbols for the days of the week. You could adjust the temperature by pressing the up or down arrow buttons, and the time by pressing the ahead or back buttons. Pressing program again moves you to program 2. You can adjust the time and temperature the same way you did for program 1. Pushing program again We'll move you to program 3, and then program 4. On the M6003, when you press program again after program 4 for the weekdays, you'll move to program 1 for Saturday and Sunday. Pressing program again moves you through programs 2, 3, and 4. And after program 4, pressing program again will take you back to the main screen, to the current time, and the words set and heat will disappear. After programming program 4 for the weekdays, on the M6007, when you press program again, it moves you to program 1 for Saturday only. Advancing through the programs 1, 2, 3, and 4 for Saturday, if you press program again, you can get to program 1 for Sunday. After program 4 for Sunday, you will then see the word off. This word off represents the humidity setting for your humidifier. It will only show if you're on the heating setting. By pushing the up arrow button, you can change the percentage humidity you want for your home. This will only have an effect if you've attached humidifier wires to the H1 and H2 during installation. Remember, lower temperatures save you energy and therefore money when you're heating. Higher temperatures save you energy when you're cooling. To program the cooling temperatures for your air conditioning, simply put the system switch to the cool position and repeat the same steps as we did for the heating. At any time, you can increase or lower the present temperature without changing the program settings by pressing the up or the down arrow buttons. The word override will appear on the M6007. 
The new temperature will stay in effect until the next program time. If you don't want the thermostat to change the temperature automatically, you can push the hold button to put the thermostat in a manual mode. The word hold will appear on screen, and whatever temperature you set using the up or down arrows will stay until you change it or the hold button is pressed again. When you do press the hold button a second time, the word hold disappears from the screen and the thermostat returns to the program temperature. Here's a good tip. The hold function is useful in the winter when you're going away for a few days and still need the heat on, but can keep the temperature set to a lower setting to save money and energy. You can use the hold setting in the summer as well with the air conditioning, but if you're going away for a few days, you might just want to turn the thermostat off. On both models, there's a switch labeled fan with settings on and auto. If you had a G-Wire to connect to your thermostat, this fan switch lets you turn your fan on constantly or have it turn on and off automatically with your heating and cooling systems. Now we're going to talk about some of the special features of the M6007. First you'll notice that it has a button labeled the usage. The thermostat will display in the clock area the number of hours and minutes it's run today. If you press this button a second time, it will display the number of hours and minutes the thermostat has run the heating or cooling since midnight on Sunday night. The thermostat also keeps track of the total number of hours of runtime. When it reaches 500 hours of use, it will display a symbol that says filter change. When this symbol appears, it's suggesting that you change or clean the air filter in your furnace. You can reset the filter change warning for another 500 hours by pressing in the usage button till the filter's change symbol disappears from the screen. By holding in the set clock button on the M6007, you will access the optional settings. The first to appear is the 12 or 24 hour clock option. 12 hour flashes on the screen. Pressing up or down will select between the 12 or 24 hour clock display. Pressing set clock again will take you to the next option. The next option is the cycle rate. The default cycle rate appears as CR3. This is normally a good setting for most gas or oil furnaces. The higher the number beside the CR, the faster the thermostat will cycle. CR4 is a very quick cycle and will be useful for an electric furnace. CR3, as mentioned, is good for oil or gas. CR2 is generally used for commercial units but can also be used for oil or gas furnaces. CR1 is a slower cycle and is recommended for hydronic or hot water heaters. CR0 disables the cycling. The thermostat will wait to turn on the heat until the temperature falls half a degree Celsius or full degree Fahrenheit below the temperature setting. The next option comes on screen is RE. This is the pre-comfort recovery option. When this, when this option is set to 1, the thermostat can then Turn on the heating and cooling in advance of a program change to get a head start on reaching the desired temperature for the next program. Turning this to zero turns off pre comfort recovery and the thermostat will wait until the next program before turning on the heat or cool. You might have noticed this thermostat comes equipped with a backlight. This backlight can be turned off at BL setting zero or for different durations at BL1 and BL2. One last thing before we go. Remember, your thermostat is powered by two AA batteries and these batteries should be changed regularly. If the batteries get weak, your thermostat will try and warn you. If you see any of these warning symbols, change your batteries immediately. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we thank you for purchasing a Canon thermostat.